Okay, guys, so I'm here interviewing this pretty lady right here. Do you want to say your name? I'm Emily Smith. Okay, so do you want to tell everybody, like, what's different? With me? Yes. I don't know. I met lovely Peyton here at school. <laughs> uh -huh. She's in a couple of classes I'm in. Um, I'm different. I mean, I think one thing different about me is I'm in a wheelchair. Most mm -hmm. people are not, right? Yeah. Because I have MS, multiple sclerosis. But what else is different? I have six kids. Three girls, three boys. Three boys are stepsons. Today is my one and a half year anniversary of being married. Oh, wow. Congratulations. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm so excited. Congratulations with that. Thank you. Thank you. Loving it. The married life. <laughs> Okay, so um, where were you born, basically? I was born in Cincinnati, so I'm from here. I never lived anywhere else except for like when I was in college for a while. And I did a thing one summer and I lived a couple of places, but I'm from here. Local. So you didn't like live anywhere else or whatever, or uh -huh. just you were just from here? I'm just from here. I lived in Georgetown, Kentucky. I went to school there. And then I lived in East St. Louis, uh, Illinois one summer. I worked at a inner city um, pro like a after school place for kids. They would come in the projects, so it was all a bunch of kids who didn't have anything to do. I worked with them. Mm -hmm. So, would you say that you love your life, basically? I love my life. That's I good. I do love my life. That's good. Every day I wake up, I say yes. Another day. <laughs> Because you should always say that you're beautiful no matter what anyone else says about you. Truth. <laughs> I agree. Because there's a lot of people out there that just say bad things and Negative. all that. Yeah. Negative. Hopefully you didn't, haven't had any haters no. in life, right? No, if I do, Hopefully I don't listen not. to them. I just, <laughs> just don't listen to them. That's right. That's what I do, Peyton. Hey, you do that too. You're so positive. <laughs> you're such a beat girl. So when did you start being a teacher? Um, okay. And what did you teach? Or did Initially, you? Initially, I was, um, I actually graduated, I was going to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And I worked in the court for a couple of years. And then I worked in the prison. And I decided, you know what, I don't like this. So I went back <laughs> to school for education. And I did early mm -hmm. childhood education. So I worked with kids that were newborns right before they started preschool and they had disabilities and I would go in their homes and stuff and do things with their families. So I did that as my career job for a long time before, and then I had to quit working when my MS got bad enough where, because the babies I worked with were medically fragile so I could fall on them and stuff. So I quit working and then I took like 15 years off and I raised my kids and then I came back and now I'm working in high school. So that's about that. That sounds pretty cool, but it's kind of like, it's kind of not a good thing to say that people have disabilities because a lot of people do and it's just like, they're different from others, but in a good way, they're different. Yes, absolutely. You'd say. Yes. When I worked, the baby that I worked with, they qualified for services because they were medically diagnosed with something that was gonna put them at a disadvantage for mm -hmm. when they got into school. So what we did, and my program was called Early Intervention. Yeah. So we would go in and provide speech therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and then I was the intervention specialist. And I would write like a little service plan and what all that we could do for them to help them out. So it was beautiful, I loved my job. I yeah. loved working with families, I love people. Yes. By the way, you look really pretty today. <laughs> You still look really pretty today. I did get my hair colored this weekend. My friend came over, covered up my roots. It's pretty. My roots. <laughs> I was getting all, you know, white. <laughs> so, like, basically, when were you diagnosed with this? Basically? I was diagnosed with MS in January of 2000. So, right when the whole, you know, what do you call that century change? Millennium change, actually. Is that right? Anyway. January of 2000, I was diagnosed. So it's been almost 20. So like 20 some 20 years, years or yeah. 21 almost years. 20 That's insane. Years. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I had just turned 28. So do the math. Wow. I'm going to be 49 <laughs> next month. I'm a grandma. Did you know that? I'm a Mimi. That's what they call me. I have a granddaughter and a grandson. Would you consider yourself a good grandma? <gasps> 
Yeah. Basically, <laughs> I think the rules are very well let them do whatever they want and give them whatever mm -hmm. they want. So that's basically what I do. Fortunately for their mom, they live in Maryland, so I don't get to spoil them very often. Who is someone in your life that you really love the most? Um, uh, well, I guess I feel like I'm obligated to say my husband, you know, because I'm married. Yeah. <laughs> but people-wise, I have a friend, her name's Susie, mm -hmm. and she's my very closest friend, and I really love her. And the thing I love the most about her is her heart, because she's so kind and generous and thoughtful with everybody. I try to be like her because she's always going out of her way to make people feel special and sending cards and just doing different things. And she has a really good memory for things. She'll remember your birthday and our special occasions. So uh, she's somebody I really admire a lot. I think the world of her. She's my bestie. <laughs> she just recently moved though, Peyton. I'm sad. But oh no, a, but do you have do you have any other friends that you oh, still yes. connect with? Absolutely. Yeah. Two of my very, I have a group of, I have six core friends that I keep. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to, I have tons of friends or acquaintances. I have a lot of people that I know, but six people who I knew intimately. Two of them just moved away. One moved to Iowa. <laughs> and then my friend I just told you about, she just moved to uh, New Vienna, which is like an hour away, which is too far. But I have a number of other friends. I have a sister. I only have one sister. No other siblings. So we're close, too. Yeah. Yeah. I keep myself busy with friends. What is something you really love to do, like in life in general, like either if you're at home or right. just outside of school, what is something you really like to do? Sorry guys, it stopped. Okay, go ahead. I say I love taking pictures. <laughs> My daughters all were like professional photo takers by the time they were two, they would strike a pose. Whenever we go to get their photos made, the people would always laugh. They were like, well, they know what to do. I'm like, because we take pictures a lot. So I love taking photos. I love reading. Um, what kind of books do you love to read? Um, I don't know for sure really what my favorite kind of books are. I love biographies. I was reading a lot of books like by, um, they're like murder mysteries. Like this one was a police officer. It was a series that I read. And then I like reading the Bible. I like reading a lot of books about, you know, self-discipline and just ideals for mm -hmm. living a good life. Stuff like that. Yes. I do have one question to ask you, though. What is it? What do you think of this whole mask thing? The masks? It's I'm fine with them. You know what I mean? They're just like another um, <laughs> thing you can match to your outfit, so I'm okay with it. It's not, it's not, I hope it doesn't make it to where we have to wear them forever because I'm just, you know, smiling. I smile at everybody, so when I'm wearing a mask, you don't know I'm smiling at you. Which is sad. Well, I'm sure we can all tell that you're still smiling. Inside and outside. Yes, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> so that's the only disadvantage I see wearing masks. Nobody can smile at each other. That's it. Like, I see your face for the first time, Nate. I've never seen your face without a mask. <laughs> she took her mask down. <laughs> <laughs> so have you always been, like, like a helper or like basically like a, like an aide like um, at school or like have you been something else um i worked uh, for so many jobs you know mm -hmm. i've worked a lot of places i worked in a warehouse on a loading dock one time i was the only girl doing that i, t I worked at a prison as a correction officer excuse my phone that was a menu <laughs> um that was a fun job i worked as a probation officer for the county and uh, what else have I done? I can't remember. I worked at McDonald's when I was young. I worked at Kings Island for a number of years. How did that go? On the rides. You know the ride in Coney Island? It's called the Monster. It's kind of like the octopus with the arms. Yeah. And it was the worst. <laughs> but I had so much fun. We had a good crew and stuff. So I went back there like three years in a row. But it was a hot, it was a black ride in full on sun. You had to pick up each of those pods. What would you say your favorite ride is there? Kings Island. Diamondback. Diamondback. Yeah. That's fun. Wee. <laughs> I used to like the Beast, but it got kind of rough. Maybe I just got old. <laughs> I feel like it really beats you up. I still love the Beast, but it's like, um, my favorites are Diamondback, Beast, and Mystic Timbers. I've never heard that. 
I love Mr. Timbers, it's so fast. <laughs> I don't know if I can get in a ride anymore. I haven't really ride for quite a while. Take me a while to get in and out. People be like, <laughs> so um, that you're um in a wheelchair. How do you like get showers and stuff? And like, how do you manage to do I that? Have a, I have my bathroom remodeled mm -hmm. for me, so my bathroom. I could roll in in my wheelchair if I wanted to, but I don't. I stand up and transfer onto a. There's a bench yeah. in my shower that I can sit on. So I still stand up and transfer and stuff like that. It's not to the point where I can't do that. So I'm fortunate in that way. Because some people can't. Some people have to have like, you know, machines and stuff that pick them up and they have to have helpers that pick them up and stuff. And I know obviously you have to go through elevators to, yes. to be, because you're in a wheelchair, you have to go through an elevator. Mm -hmm. My personal elevator, well, <laughs> anybody that wants it. Anybody that's in a wheelchair would go through yes. that. Yes, or crutches or whatever, boots and stuff. Yeah. Yep. I still drive. You know, I have hand controls in my car. When did you start driving? I just started driving when I was 16. You started at 16? Mm -hmm. Not a good driver, though. I wrecked the first time I ever drove alone. Got my license removed immediately for speeding. Yeah. I've always been kind of a bad driver. What was life like for you, like, during school? Uh, it was good. I had a good time. I always had, you know, my parents were really good to me. I had one sister, and they were really, my parents were really good. I was the house that everybody always wanted to come to. Everybody always hung out at my house. Everybody loved my mom, you know. And so we just, I don't know. It was fun growing up. I had a good life. I had a good life. <laughs> Would you say that you met some really good friends back then, or were there some people that would just, yeah, or were there some people friends. that would just be rude and stuff? Yeah, I mean, some people, you know, there's always going to be somebody that's rude. Yeah. I've always had, I've always <laughs> just killed people with kindness. If people were ugly or whatever, I'd just be really, really nice to them, and eventually they'd come around. Yeah. And they'd be like, okay. It's better to not say anything to yes. somebody. Usually, I told my daughters, this time I raised them. I said, if somebody's really mean and nasty, usually that means they got something going on in their life mm -hmm. that's taking them that way. So you just gotta remember, hey, their life's not so great. It's something bad in their world. And that may not be true. They may just be a mean person. But I like to believe there's something wrong in their life that's making them act like that. <laughs> Apparently, there would be yeah. if they're acting like that. Right. You never know what's going on in somebody's world. So guys, this is Emily and she's really amazing. So give her some love and support to her because she's amazing. This girl is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I Peyton. thought I'd do this interview with her today because she's special and sweet and everybody should give each other love no matter what, no matter what it is that they're going through or what is going on in their life. And Peyton's really good at that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. She's a loving girl. <laughs> Thank you, Peyton. You're welcome. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, Peyton's page. Give her some love. <laughs> Thank you for letting me do this interview no with you problem. today. Bye. Bye.